members of the Corps Diplomatique and VIP guests are kindly invited to a reception on this stage Im immediately after the ceremony. Student ambassadors will take out the flags and all delegates are to remain seated until our guests have reached the stage and all flags have left the theater. It is now my very great honor to announce the 42nd session of the Hague International Model United Nations, officially open. I am, I am very happy to be serving in this position. Um, I will be serving the very exact position uh, in our school's conference. I like the job of the PGA very much. I feel that it, it, it allows someone to you know, build his, his skills as a speaker, his skills as a chair. And since I'm interested in history and politics, uh, basically being in an environment like this is, is an experience that's, that cannot be matched by anything else. For some interesting reason, I was not anxious. I, I was expecting to be nervous, uh, but, but, but I, I, you know, anytime people ask me, I said it, it, it hasn't still struck me, and and I, I'm done with the you know ceremony, and I'm still it still hasn't struck me yet. So I, I feel that you know oh, I, I've been doing this for years. This is my fifth year in the M U N program. And I I think after all those years, I now have the calm, the you know, the calmness, um, sort of in a cold-blooded approach, I would say. Uh, to to um, do what I'm supposed to be doing, um, I, I do have a script prepared uh, right here. Um, I I was not making any long speeches. Was I was the one tying uh, one speech to one other or one item in the ceremony to the other, uh, and I and I did have a script prepared, and I did uh, go over it a couple of times with with a couple of different people. I had some Dutch names to pronounce, which were unfamiliar to me, but. I think it all worked out fine. Thank you, Your Highness, for sharing your insights about governance with us. My feeling is that uh, UN is not given the importance that it deserves, and it it, do, it certainly does not have uh, have the authority that it does, that its its existence deserves, because the UN was created as an organ where countries could multilaterally this could could come could reach conclusions and could reach solutions in a multilateral with a multilateral approach. However, in today's world, countries either act unilaterally or um, Basically, multilateral approaches are you know, most of the time limited to a scope. It's either you know NATO or you know some sort of coalition of forces, rather than the whole world as the United Nations um, should act. And and they don't. And I feel that the UN should play a larger role, and that uh, countries should have more respect um, towards UN resolutions. For example, a lot of countries basically do not implement them. Do not take them seriously um, to, to you know to some kind for some countries what the UN basically does is, is nothing it's these diplomats having small talk in, in New York and then for them it has no relevance and it, it shouldn't be that way <laughs> 